Hey, how's it going? I just want to let you know about the Fireplace channel. You know, it's one of my favorite things in the world. It's got a, a revolving cast of uh, logs. Uh, the logbook is just filled with names that you would know, such as stick and, uh, you know, large uh, chunk of wood and also um, split wood that you use with, a, with a, uh, a wood splitter, which is a lot of fun. Get your arms going, you know, your rotator cuffs all, you know, cuffed out and ready for a uh, a night on the town uh, so it's real real fun but anyway uh, the fireplace channel not to get off track uh, just stay on topic please we don't have much time can you uh, answer your questions in the form of a question ask your questions in the form of a question you know how like that has to be sort of um, reminded of gentle reminder for people so many times when they go for a q a it's like dude are you here to ask a question or are you here to t say something? I mean, or and then they forget. They're like, oh, um, yes, yeah, so, um, you know. And then it's like, oh, do you have a question? I'm like, no, uh, that's a, no, that is all. Okay. Well, then why'd you fucking get up to the microphone? Q&As. There should be some more, like, there should be um, a crackdown on the people that don't ask questions on Q&As, you know. And I think we should be Fact taking that, a look uh, at some of these... Tax, I mean, tax exams, exams, uh, make a church, and be like, oh, I'm yeah, just going to be tax free. I mean, can I do that? You know, I can make a church right here out of everything. Okay, hey, here's the church of slides, slide photos. You know, I got the church of uh, uh, remote controls. I got the church of remote controls right here. I got the church of, you know, uh, whatever this is, you know, and I got the church of this thing here, and I got the church of cassettes. That's it. That's my church right there. <laughs> The Church of Cassettes. Now I want to be a tax-free um, organization. Church. We're going to worship cassettes. Okay. This is a Maxo. I think that's a nice, that's a shiny, that's like 1985. That's 1985. You know, that, that's the 1985 generation for that. That's a good, I liked that one because it was gold and it had the red like that. That is cool, my friends. It was kind of neat to have cassettes, and uh, here at the church, this would be my first sermon at the Church of Cassettes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a tax-exempt status. That's good, because I owe them so much money anyway. But um, at the Church of Cassettes, we're going to talk about different cassettes, uh, blank, usually the blank consumer cassettes you'd buy. And what they came in, sometimes they came in a soft pack, like 10-pack thing, container, the TDKs, you know. And then we'll talk about the TDKs and the different types of tapes here. And that's a whole show. I just invented a whole show. Just like inventing a whole format, you know, which is what the guys who invented the cassette did. They invented a whole format. Yeah, obviously. And so <clears throat> on today's show, we're going to talk about what's the difference between a 90-minute tape and a 60-minute tape. Like, like I, I'd be like the antique guy, right? I'd be like if you went antiquing, and I'd be like antiquing. And I, I know antiquing, but like it's a strange word. But l just, you know, bear with me while I talk about it. So I would be the guy who would just buy tables, you know, so that I could have a flat surface to lay shit on. That would be my whole, like, uh, purchase. Be like, ah, at this point in my life, I just need tables. I don't need any of this other shit. I got fucking 78s crawling out my ass. I got a Victrola. I got a fucking hand-wound Victrola. I got a fucking Victrola with springs. I got two or three of them don't work with springs that are broken. I got reel-to-reels. I got five broken reel-to-reels here. I don't need shit. I just need tables to put this shit on. That's all. So... What I was saying about the Fireplace channel, and this is what really bo bothers me about these like fights that the cable companies have with the providers or the cable providers or the executives and the channels and stuff. And it's like you put on the TV and it's like, yeah, we're in a fight with uh, negotiations and they're not being fair with Disney or whatever, you know. But like uh, it, the thing that really bothers me is the Fireplace channel. Fireplace channel had some great like scenarios there and I call them scenarios because it's a wonderful opportunity for you to like enjoy nature from a distance like on the TV which is far away from the real fire because the real fire is not so fun you know because it's kind of hot you know just a little a little bit sometimes but um so having it on the big TV is great because you can be like wow it's like a fire but it's not hot 
Um, and the problem with the fireplace channels, sometimes they have like these cool scenarios you get into. It's like a beach, you know, and there's a fire and it's like, oh, cool. Or uh, like a mountain ski lodge in the wintertime and there's a fire in this big glorious uh, fireplace. And like, you know, you can walk into the fireplace, but don't walk into close because you might get burned um but that's what happened to the cameraman i don't know if you heard about that the fireplace uh cameraman yeah he um got a little too close you know he's trying to do his job you know and every person who works at every job tries to do the very best they can do i'm sure that's true and so the cameraman got too close to the fire because he was trying to do a real like a, a close-up but you know he didn't still like you know you can close up to a certain point but you really got to get you know sometimes on a subject to really capture you know everything and he sure did he captured not only um the color texture between the yellows and the oranges and whatever but he also caught his hair on fire and that's uh he generally frowned upon and so we're just wishing uh mr doc mcgavin uh, cameraman for the fireplace channel uh good health and recovery and we hope that uh, to see you back out there and you've been transferred to the arctic channel yeah so you'll be filming uh glaciers or glaciers as they call them in england so um yeah you know good uh, speedy recovery <laughs>